I grew up here on the Mississippi Gulf Coast, dead center for the worst natural disaster in American history, Hurricane Katrina. I went back after the storm to help. I'd been through Hurricane Camille. I thought I was prepared for the worst. I had no idea. The cars began to wash away and houses around us came off their uh, foundation. We knew we'd, we'd made a terrible mistake and just got in a survival mode for hours. I get bumped in the back by a two inch diameter telephone cable. This is still suspended. You're floating in the phone line. Yeah. When it really hit me how serious it was was when we turned the corner in the river to where my sister lives and the first thing I saw was, was nothing. And I was like, and I, you know, oh my God. It occurred to me that I might die. And what's worse, it occurred to me that my child might die. Since Katrina, I've been waiting for FEMA, the small business administration and the insurance companies to keep their promises and do the right things. It's a crime. It's just a crime that they're doing to these people. The national media has been focused on New Orleans. This is where the, the storm came rolling in. And um, we're not good at asking for help. Much of the coastline is still nothing but slabs. And many of the storm's victims are still being neglected and mistreated. I did uh, try to approach uh, FEMA. Uh, they turned me down. Uh, SBA turned me down. This film is their voice. This is bad. We're having problems with depression now. It's gonna be 10 or 20 years before it even resembles what was here. It's like we're on the ropes right now, you know? You never know what, what's in your soul or what you do or how you react to something like this, I guess, until, until it happens and you just, you just go until you can't go anymore. God can give it to you, he can take it away. Yeah.